Welcome back to my channel, Prompt Engineer. Since my last video on AutoGPT, there have been many new developments in the AI space and AutoGPT has become even more stable. So if you are interested in exploring AI and specifically AutoGPT, then please keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clone the AutoGPT repository from GitHub and get started in just under five minutes. Let's be a part of this revolution. Before we get started, make sure you have installed Python in your system. You can download it from python.org. We also need Git, which you can download from this official website. Lastly, download the Visual Studio Code Editor from the official website. Now let's dive into the process of cloning the AutoGPT repository. First, select a folder where you want to clone the repository. For this demo, I'm going to create a new folder called YouTube. Go to the AutoGPT page, link is in the description below. Scroll down and click on get the latest release. Download the source code and extract the contents to the YouTube folder. Next, open the folder and type CMD in the address bar. This will open the command prompt. Type pip install dash r requirements.txt and let the installation happen automatically. After the installations are complete, we move to the next step. Copy the folder location and open Visual Studio Code. Go to File, Open Folder and paste the working folder. Double click to open the file and rename it to .env. Paste in the OpenAPI key, which you can get from platform.openapi.com. If you don't have an account here, create one and click on Create New Secret Key. Copy the secret key and paste it in this location in the .env file. Now let's talk a little bit about memory management and usage. You can use different memory management plans, but for this demo, we are going to use local memory, which is also very fast and efficient. For other memory plans, you might need to get a subscription, which is costly, but for this demo, let's see and run in the local memory itself. We are almost there. Open a new terminal in Visual Studio Code and type python-m autoGPT. Give your AI name. I'm going to call mine bookGPT and assign it a role. For example, an AI designed to find the best topics to write a book on. You should also add goals to the AI such as find trending topics or suggest monetization strategies. So these are the five goals that I have added. Now let the magic happen. After about 20 minutes, you will see the outputs in the AutoGPT workspace folder. Here you can see all the outputs in the form of text files. For example, in the trending topics file, AutoGPT has listed several wonderful topics to write a book on. You can also check out the monetization strategies and publishing options, including Amazon Kindle and Ingram Spark, which I didn't know about. If you run into issues while running the latest and updated version of AutoGPT, please let me know in the comment section below. This community is always here to help. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more exciting AI content. Until then, happy AI experimenting. Bye-bye.